We get a check of your pinpoint weather and traffic together. We still have that freeze morning in effect, Michelle. And but until uh, nine o'clock this morning, Danielle, as many of us are still below freezing for our temperatures here early this morning. So hopefully you brought in some of your uh, uh, tender vegetation and plants that you were hoping to save here through this first shot of uh, almost winter like air in place, complete with even a few flurries and spots yesterday here in southeastern New England. Not finding that this morning skies are bright and dry, but we are still in the 20s in Smithfield 26 and Taunton 29. New Bedford Westerly is now back to 30. 33 in Providence and uh, Newport stayed mostly above freezing. The lowest temperature that I found there was 33 degrees now back to 35. Our threat tracker is going to remain in the medium category through this freeze warning. We'll drop it back to the green for this afternoon and tonight as our uh, temperatures do warm into the 40s well below average, but we're not expecting any freeze conditions again tonight. Here's what it feels like outside and this again the wind chill what you want to dress for as you head out and begin this Thursday uh, Thursday. Nope, it's only Monday 20 degrees in Smithfield 25 in Providence 29 New Bedford 24 the wind chill in Westerly. It feels like 16 up in Worcester dry skies though bright conditions loads of sunshine Echo Lake beautiful fall morning Warwick as well with the bright skies that chill in the air in Providence from our hurricane barrier should be smooth sailing heading into uh, work and school this morning at least weather wise high pressures in control the only place that's dealing with some clouds this morning over the outer Cape and those are ocean effect clouds a result of the cold air coming across the warmer ocean waters generating the clouds even had a few sprinkles and flurries there. Now, the core of the cold air sitting over us here in the northeast, but not much longer already starting to warm up over the Midwest and the central United States and that warmer air is going to continue to push eastward. So into New England later tonight and into tomorrow. Today, you're going to just have to deal with another uh, cool day, but brighter than yesterday and with lighter winds than yesterday. We will see the clouds on the increase overnight tonight and tomorrow as well uh, with the six o'clock temperature tomorrow in the upper 40s. By noon, we're back to average, even warmer than normal temperatures. And tomorrow, while more clouds around in a breezy day, will be much warmer. 35 degrees, 9 o'clock this morning, 48 at 2 in the afternoon. Down to about 40 overnight tonight, so not nearly as chilly. On the bay, we've got good visibility. Winds making the turn to the west, high tide, 1245 this afternoon. So after today, the rest of the week's looking much milder. 63 for tomorrow, more clouds around, but it will be much warmer. 64 on Wednesday, a mix of clouds and sunshine. Approaching cold front on Thursday. It's going to be warm and breezy, even some upper 60s for highs Thursday, with increasing clouds and a slight chance of an afternoon shower. Friday and Saturday look cooler, but dry and bright, and then we'll bring in another chance of a shower late in the weekend, maybe by Sunday evening. We'll be keeping